And this week, MTN chief political reporter Mike Dennison has been profiling the candidates for the race, or in the race, that is, for Montana's U.S. House seat. And today he tells us more about the libertarian candidate, Billings attorney Eleanor Swanson. Eleanor Swanson calls herself a moderate libertarian who believes in gradual change, but her primary focus is cutting the federal deficit. We're going to be paying for the debt one way or another, either in one big crash or slow and steady. So it, I would prefer the slow and steady maneuver. Swanson says the country could return to the revenue and spending levels of President Bill Clinton's final term when the budget did balance. She also doesn't think much of Republicans' 2017 federal tax cut, which she called bad fiscal and economic policy. Like however much you stimulate the economy, you have growth of 4% instead of 1% or 2%. That doesn't make up for almost $1 trillion a year in annual deficit. Swanson grew up primarily in Alaska and moved to Billings in 2015. She and her husband David have four children. She has a campaign website and has been touring the state this month, visiting 20-some cities and towns. She's running against Republican Congressman Greg Gianforte and Democrat Kathleen Williams. When asked whether she's just a spoiler in the race who can't possibly win, Swanson says she's the only real alternative to politics as usual. Either you have two candidates who will not uphold the Constitution, or you have a candidate like me that is actually committed to upholding individual liberties and the Constitution. You can see all three candidates together this Saturday on MTN stations in their first and likely only live debate this campaign season. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison. MTN News. And just to reiterate what Mike was saying, you'll be able to see all three of the House candidates in their first live debate this Saturday on MTN stations at 6 o'clock. And in Helena, you'll be able to watch it on our sister station, channel 9.1 KXLH. And in Great Falls, it'll be broadcast on KRTV, that's channel 3. And we'll also have the debate being streamed live and available for playback up on KTVH.com.